So hello and welcome to another mid-month update, your regular catch-up with the Alonso rollout. And joining me again today are Nigel and Demetrius from the project team to give us the very latest. So Nigel, how's it all going? Well, we've got the Blue Network uh, up. It's up and spinning. SBOs have been righted. Uh, they're running nodes. They're getting testing done. And um, they're helping us to source out a bunch of issues. Task Force One, which is our pioneers and our partners, are also up and spinning. They're setting up their first nodes and starting with their first exercises. And then comes the exciting bit, our first Hello World round trips of Plutus. So, Dimitris, perhaps you can just expand on that a little. Uh, yes, Tim, indeed. So the Hello World uh, round trip is exactly as it sounds, right? So we don't uh, have yet the Plutus backend fully integrated, but we can actually talk to the Alonso node. So a pioneer could create a very simple smart contract and pass it uh, to the ledger so they can have their first smart contract written against our network. It could be as simple as a transaction that passes uh, back a hello world or a confirmation of a payment that uh, has been made or something similar. So the Node team has completed the first round trip translation using a Bluetooth script on Tuesday and the steps to replicate this will be shared as an exercise shortly. So what does this actually mean? Well, it means that uh, we have Alonso running smart contracts. Nothing fancy, but uh, we can go end to end, which is quite an important milestone. It is also worth mentioning that uh, all that is on top of the functionality that was in place since the Merry Hard Fork, and our QA team has completed all the regression tests that ensure backwards compatibility. So, Nigel, let's maybe go back to our Alonso roadmap, show people where we are and where we're going next. If we recap on the roadmap, you'll see that uh, we are. what we're trying to do is colour code the plan to make it clear so that it represents different stages of development and we gradually build out the network and the functionalities we go through. As you recall, we have blue, white, purple, and so on, all the way through to the main net. Where we are right now is in the middle of blue, and what we want trying to achieve on blue is that we have uh, a stable network running and we have people connecting via their nodes. They've set up their nodes successfully and they are able to write transactions to the ledger. Once we introduce the CLI, we will be able to start writing very simple Plutus smart contracts. It's only gonna be very simple Plutus scripts, um, not the uh, more extended functionality that will come later, but it just enables us to say, I can actually write a, a smart uh, contract in like a hello world uh, tr fashion and make sure I can, I can do a round trip between the ledger and back. Once we can achieve that, that's like the trigger point to say, right, we're good to go. We've got our infrastructure, we've got our nodes, and we've got uh, the ability to, to write smart contracts onto our blockchain. And from there, we can then move into the next stage, which is where we introduce all the Plutus components and all the exciting functionality that we'll bring. This stage is called white. And in the white stage, we'll have a, a new network that will spin up. Um, and we'll ask our partners and pioneers and SBOs to join us, and they'll spin up a new, no new node on that network, and then our engineers will start to integrate the main components. The biggest components we've got is the Plutus application backend, which controls all the libraries and functions for smart contracts. And secondly, we have the wallet backend, which is a familiar component that's in use today. But for now, what we're going to focus on is getting our CLI out so that our pioneers can start doing their Hello World round trips. So, Demetrius, tell us more about the CLI. What's all that about? So the CLI, or command line interface, is the main interface for developers to gain access to the ledger and develop their smart contracts. The start, as mentioned above, is to generate a Hello World uh, simple contract and prove that you can go end-to-end. -end. Uh, as part of Blue, we now have a community of pioneers, uh, stakeholder operators, partners, and even some graduates for our Mongolian university training course. All these guys are busy trying out Alozo components, testing and creating feedback for us that enables us to fix issues and improve quality. Our community interacts on Discord and through GitHub to reach us. This is really great and a fluid way of getting immediate and dynamic feedback. So what do we need to actually finish up with Blue and move on to White? Well, we need to make sure that our partners and pioneers have been able to do their Hello World scripts. And that's going to build confidence in actually how we interact with our, our new blockchain. Once they can successfully prove, they can submit, validate, and execute on chain, and boom, we're ready for white. 
So some of the other important work going on behind the scenes is the work that's being done by our Plutus partners who are developing a, a series of use cases. Perhaps you can tell us a little bit more about that, Dimitris. Definitely. So uh, there are some actually big stuff happening there. Uh, to take a tangent, I'll introduce our partners uh, and briefly mention them, who are not only testing their own Alonzo nodes, they are also building real-world uh, use cases, and uh, they will bring their initial work to a conclusion on Alonzo White uh, at some point in June. Namely, the partners working on uh, the use cases uh, include Alt Labs, uh, D Quadrant, LX, Metalamp, M Labs, Node Factory, and Obsidian. These guys are building some cool stuff, and uh, here's a few examples of the use cases they are working on. So one of the use cases is an oracle, building an oracle. Uh, another one is a DEX token swap and liquidity and stake pools. Uh, a third one is lending pool. Uh, a fourth one is the crypto uh, backed stable coin with staking. And of course, uh, there are also the NFTs use case and uh, the use case for building up an exchange. So what do the next couple of weeks of the program look like then? Well, we've got the... Uh, initial network setup. We've got the nodes running. We've got a lot of people involved now, um, probably 40 across the SPOs, pioneers and partners. We've got to get out the CLI and that's looking good to be coming out shortly. Once we've got the CLI there, we can then do our Hello World um, round trip on Plutus. Simple sort of smart contract work to be able to make sure that actually we can transact um, against the ledger. Meanwhile, while that is going on, um, there will be issues that are raised um, and we will be working through those with our community. Um, and also we're going to be supporting our partners as they come to the end of their first stage to have a working uh, DAP on the use cases that Dimitri has mentioned uh, by the end of June. And then following the end of June, uh, some of the partners will be moving into a second phase where we're going to be working with them to actually develop their DAPs in our on-chain uh, environment. So that's pretty much it for today, just a short update. But before I go, a quick shout out to all our Alonzo Blue team who've been making all this possible and helping us move so fast on this. So thank you to Marcus, to Kyle, to Alex, to Andrew, Dylan, Holger, Homer, Martin, Marek, Nikos, Mike, Sykem, Priyank, Shweta, Adam and everybody else for all your help with Alonzo Blue. Also, thanks to Alex from NASX Stakepool, who's made a video about his experience so far on the Alonzo Blue testnet. We've dropped the link to that in the notes below. This is Alex with NASX Stakepool. The Alonzo Blue testnet is full of some of the most talented people in the community, if not all of them. Um, they're tremendous people and they've already identified um, several issues, but these are all things to be expected. This is the first test net. I expected this to be more like an alpha. We're already going better than I expected. And I'm the conservative one, remember. We've got our buddies in and the test net is expanding. Now, that's great news. Um, and I've saved the best for last, but the biggest news is that the very first smart contract on this public test net has run successfully and it's huge news. It means that the functionality of smart contracts is operating correctly, or at least it's functional, which means that we've not only got a functioning node, but we've also got functioning smart contracts. Um, that's huge. Now, We'll have another update for you on Cardano 360, the last Thursday of June. That's Thursday the 24th. So we'll see you there for more great updates on the Alonzo rollout and, of course, everything that's happening across the Cardano universe.